Hello class, so today we are going to discuss about the species and classification. So what is a species? A species is a group of animals, plants or other living things that all share common characteristics and that are all classified as alike in some manner. Classified means organizing or comparing. Or in simple words, we can say that a species is a group of similar individuals that are able to reproduce some characteristics. Distinguishing species Animals that can breathe, they can produce offspring with each other. For example, male lion and female tiger. They can breathe and they produce offspring. Their offspring is called a ligger. Its parents are from different species. So the ligger is a hybrid. Hybrids are usually infertile. They can't produce offspring of their own. Naming a species. Scientific names are also designed to tell you something about the animal's relationship with other animals. Scientists give each species a unique two-part Latin name. Similar species are given the first name. For example, lion and tiger are both large and they both row. They share the first name Panthera pets, cat, fur, along with some small wild cats. They share the first name Fliss. A new species. For a long time, clouded leopard on Borneo and mainland China share the same name, Neophilus nebulosa. The scientists checked to see if they really were the same species. Scientists compared the genes in the cell. They found they were different as the genes of lion and tiger. The animals on Borneo become a separate species and never given a new name, Neophilus DRD. Classification Putting animals in group All living organisms are classified into groups based on very basic shear characteristics. Organisms within each group are then further divided into smaller groups. These smaller groups are based on more detailed similarities with each larger group. The grouping system makes it easier for scientists to study certain group of organisms. Most species can be classified as plant or animal. The difference between them is that animals feed on other living things while plants make their own food. Vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals that have a backbone inside their body. Invertebrates don't have a backbone inside their body. This is the difference between a vertebrates and invertebrates. Groups of invertebrates. Group of invertebrates are arthropods, mollusks, echinoderms, nidanians, annelids, nematodes, and flatworms. Invertebrates animal are 70% and vertebrates animal are 3%. Arthropod. Arthropod are a large group of invertebrates which means they do not have backbone. Insects, spiders, crab are arthropods. Arthropod group's name means animal with joint leg. Insects. Most arthropod species are insects. Now, species of insects are continually being found. Estimate of the total number of species range from 2 million to 30 million. Insects have six legs and most have wings. Insects were the first animal capable of flight. Home assignment. Answer the following question in your copy. What are species? Do members of species always look similar? Which group has more species? Vertebrate or invertebrate? How vertebrate different from invertebrate? 